It's not females. Now, listen. If it's about wearing a sheath again, well, I'm sorry, but... There's glass in the soup. What? There's what? Shh, I don't want your bloody mother to know. There's some glass in the soup, all right? All right. Glass in the soup? What are you talking about? Well, you know what glass is. Yes. And you know what soup is. Uh, <gasps> well, one of them is in the other. How? Why? <sighs> Your mum asked me to stir the soup. Her first error. And then I accidentally smashed the bulb in the extractor fan thing above the pot and it sort of... Exploded right into the soup. Oh, you're such a bloody idiot! Shut up! Ow! OK, so there's glass in the soup and you want us not to tell mum, despite the fact that if she drinks any, she's going straight to hospital. Yeah, shall I call the ambulance now, or...? She's not going to hospital, stupid babies. Just don't say a bloody word or she'll chop my sodding hands off. But that... And you better not tell your birds. Oh, we're definitely telling our birds. What? Why? Why? So they don't end up in intensive care. Yeah, next to Mum. Nothing's going to happen. I sieved most of the stuff. Most of it? Yeah, and I picked out the main shards. Oh, good. So the main shards of glass are gone. What about the less main shards of glass? Yeah, the ones that only pierce the less main organs when swallowed. You know, like the esophagus or the spleen. <laughs> Dad! What are you doing in there? Hello, my sweet. What are you all doing? It's rude. Uh, just having a, uh, you know, man-to-man -man chat. Oh, I see. Won't be long, love. <laughs> They're lovely girls! <laughs> and yet, only five minutes later, she was tearing at her throat in agony. Burke, so don't say a bloody word, OK? It had to be tonight, didn't it? Oh, stop fussing! Bit of glass, never did anyone any harm. Ah. What? Just drink from the side of the bowl. Don't touch anything on the bottom. We have to eat glass. Hmm.